Hello. I hello, hello. think we should be live now. So welcome to day three of the Winter Kickstart course. So we'll resume where we left off with um, actually running jobs on Triton and scripting them and using parallelism of different forms and stuff like that. While we are waiting, if you can open the HackMD, you see we have an icebreaker down there. So if you can write or open it, go to edit mode and answer this reflection on parallelism. So how can your analysis be parallelized? Which is sort of one of the key topics of today. Yeah, and if you feel like you don't know the answer, then that's fine as well, because, well, that's why we are here, so <laughs> yeah. to help you parallelize your job if you don't know. Exactly. I lost a yeah, window they... somewhere. So yesterday we had some problems with the Triton accounts. So some people were not able to actually run the jobs. So we think that these are fixed now. Um, there was a problem with the authentication systems and stuff. So the user accounts were not being propagated through um, throughout the cluster. Which is sort of unfortunate, but it happens. A cluster is such a complex thing with many different pieces all working together, connected to Alto. Let's see, we're getting some reflections here. Yeah, so Simo, what do you think about today? How would you summarize what we will be discussing? Well, yeah, so I'd say it's it's the the topic is is like going beyond your capabilities, so basically going beyond one person's uh, mm -hmm. uh, like what what one person and one computer can do at a time. So so the idea is to is to do stuff non interactively. So basically, uh, the idea is to to go beyond what what you can handle at a certain time. So basically, you you will be doing something non-interactively, so basically managing uh, jobs, managing workers that do stuff for you. So basically, you instead of being a worker, you will be the foreman who manages the workers and tells them where to go and what to do, and, and you will be the one who uh, manages them. Yeah. So this is basically the idea. It's, it's just like everything else is just like... A, a, adding the scale or doing different scales of the same kind of uh, thing. So <laughs> array jobs, parallel jobs, uh, running GPUs, everything is just doing the same thing, but in a different scale and with different tools. But yeah. the idea is the same. You are not doing the thing interactively. Uh, you're uh, giving instructions to the computers to do stuff non-interactively. Yeah. So what are the pieces of today? Like what are the different lessons that we'll go over? So first, uh, last uh, last uh, evening of day, I think, <laughs> last day we, we ran into the uh, cliffhanger of going from non-interactive, uh, sorry, from interactive to non-interactive. So we were running stuff already in the queue uh, in the environment that we have in, the, in Triton. But now the thing is to to do that non-interactively. So basically to put stuff into the queue and get your workflow in such a way that you can put stuff to the queue, it will get done when it's get when it got, gets done, and then mm. you can reap the rewards. And then we will do this multiple times using the array jobs 
we will uh, utilize some GPUs so that we can, if your job needs some special accelerators, it's possible to use them. And then we we'll look at uh, other parallelization strategies that make your stuff uh, run faster. So basically, uh, multi-processing and MPI parallelization. So if you want to run your stuff uh, faster uh, with mm -hmm. multiple uh, processes. Yeah. So that's basically the, the schedule today. Yeah. And then I think we will try to squeeze in some final demos, someone actually running a MATLAB code, someone actually running a R code, and someone actually running a Python code, like putting the whole thing together, how to combine the software and the data storage and all of these things and yes, make the script was... and whatever. Yeah, so we were talking about us us uh, presenters like showing how to run some some sample codes in yeah in Triton with specific software suits. Yeah. So how would you say most people do their parallelism on Triton? Like, what's the most common way of doing stuff? Well, the most common way is uh, to do basically data parallelism or a parameter parallelism. So. Mm -hmm this, uh, uh, it's called, um, well, it, I can't re what? recall the actual uh, like name because it's so. The single uh, instruction, multiple data or something like that. Yeah, and yeah. It's more like and, the uh, processor architecture, but. Yeah, and it's uh, um, uh, embarrassingly parallel. Mm, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Embar yeah, embarrassing to not remember that. But <laughs> yeah, so, so the idea uh, with embarrassingly parallel is that basically you do the same thing, but you switch a bit uh, every time. Mm -hmm. So that is the easiest way. And I think a lot of our users do it manually. I, I myself have been um, guilty of this. So basically making copies of the same run scripts and running them with different parameters or something like that. Right. Making copies of the mm -hmm. different day mm -hmm. or doing, running the same, yeah. having a copy of a folder and, and doing the same kind of analysis on that. And, but um, yeah. I think there are nowadays even more ways people do parallelism and, mm -hmm. and they are getting easier. So people are actually yeah. using the cluster to its fullest, fullest yeah. extent. So when you say they're getting easier, do you think it also it's easier, but still requires some special skills to do it well? Um, I think it, 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 it doesn't necessarily require special skills, but it uh, it requires this kind of a change of uh, mind, change of work, mm -hmm. like idea for how are you working with the machines. So mm -hmm. it's it's all about organization and doing knowing your way around the machine, and that's uh, <clears throat> that's something that sometimes can be hard. It's it's it can be technically very easy, but it can be hard to wrap your head around like what's actually happening in the system, what's right. actually happening with my problem. So how do I organize these uh, different uh, different tools to work together yeah. in this kind of a like a parallel fashion? And that's the the hardest part usually. Right. So of course there are other stuff that let's say MPI programming that might require a bit more special special skills mm -hmm. but uh the uh like ar array programming and stuff like that is is very easy yeah okay so um should we begin with the first lesson then yeah i think everybody's here okay